Hey, what's up IG Garage family? Imagine this, you're driving, everything seems normal but then you notice your engine feels sluggish. You plug in your OBD2 scanner and BAM, you get hit with the P0012 code. If you don't fix this quickly, it could lead to poor performance, bad fuel economy, and long-term engine damage. But don't worry, because today I'm going to show you exactly what this code means, where the issue is located, and how to fix it. Stick around, and let's get your engine back to running like new. So what does P0012 mean? This code refers to camshaft position timing, over-retarded, bank one. In simple terms, the camshaft timing is off, meaning the camshaft is rotating slower than it should. This is critical because it affects how the intake and exhaust valves open and close, which directly impacts engine performance. Now, let's get to the important part, finding where the problem is. The camshaft position sensor is usually located near the engine's camshaft, often on the cylinder head or near the timing chain. For bank one, it's typically on the side of the engine where the first cylinder is located. This little sensor monitors the position of the camshaft and sends signals to the ECU to adjust timing. If it's faulty, or if the timing chain is stretched, the ECU won't be able to adjust the camshaft timing properly, which is why you get the P0012 code. So. How do you know you've got a P0012 issue? You'll probably notice rough idling, sluggish acceleration, or even poor fuel economy. If left unchecked, this can lead to more severe engine damage over time, so it's critical to address it early. To fix this, start by checking the wiring and connections to the camshaft position sensor. Make sure there are no loose wires or damaged connectors. If everything looks fine there, you may need to inspect the timing chain to see if it's worn or stretched. If the sensor is faulty, replace it and clear the code with your OBD2 scanner. If the timing chain is the issue, it might be time to visit a mechanic to get that checked or replaced. After the repair, reset the code and take the car for a test drive. And that's how you fix a P0012 code and get your engine running smoothly again. If this video helped you out, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to IG Garage for more car repair tips. And before you go, check out these two videos to keep learning. First, check out our video on P0087, where we cover low fuel pressure in the fuel rail, and don't miss our P0238 video for more turbo boost sensor diagnostics. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.